Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for tuning in once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy. Today our attention turns to the Old Testament reading from this past Sunday, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 33. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. Let him sit alone in silence when it is laid on him. Let him put his mouth in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him give his cheek to the one who strikes. Let him be filled with insults. For the Lord will not cast off forever. But though he cause grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he does not afflict from his heart or grieve the children of men. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This section of scripture is perhaps somewhat familiar to you. We have the, the hymn in our hymnal, Great is Thy Faithfulness, based on this particular section. Occasionally these words are read as the Old Testament reading for a funeral. And yet, the book of Lamentations is one of the more obscure books in all of the Old Testament, in all of the Bible. Sometimes it's referred to as the book of laments. Sometimes it's referred to as Jeremiah's laments. Jeremiah Lamentations. And here, in the middle of these lamentations from the prophet Jeremiah, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, of course, we have hope. Hope in the midst of our lamenting. Hopes in the midst of our distress. Hope in the midst of our pain and suffering and worry and everything else you can possibly imagine. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Everything we have seems to run out, but God's love never will. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God's faithfulness. Not talking about our faithfulness. We're faithless. Often turning to and fro. Chasing after other gods. Closing our ears to the life-giving, life-changing word of God. But God remains faithful. And his mercies are new every morning. Why, why this morning imagery? Well, it reminds us of a new day. It reminds us in the sunrise of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Victory over sin, death, and the grave that first Easter morning. As we read on in this particular text, we have almost an eyewitness account of the things that happened to Jesus in his passion and suffering. Let him sit alone in silence when it is laid on him. Let him put his mouth in the dust. Let him give his cheek to the one who strikes. Let him be filled with insults. We see very clearly Jesus in these words. And yet, in the midst of these describing words of Jesus' passion and suffering, we read, there may yet be hope. There may yet be hope. My friends, the opposite of fear is hope. The opposite of worry is hope. The opposite of depression is hope. We have hope, real hope, because Jesus Christ has lived and died and now lives and reigns again. He has defeated death once and for all. God reminds us of his love, his steadfast love, each and every day as we die and drown in the waters of holy baptism, repenting, 
and listening and believing once again to the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus. My friends, whatever your lament, remember, there is hope, real hope. And that hope has a name, Jesus Christ, for you. Amen.